Aries, Leo, and Sag. Hey, how you doing? Um, it's your girl Mo, and we are here for some what's up with the planets content regarding Venus being in the sign of Scorpio. The Scorpio energy is gonna be so intense, y'all. Venus and Scorpio, we just had an eclipse in Scorpio, and Mercury will be in Scorpio. The, the, Ooh, the Scorpio energy gonna be so intense, y'all. Okay, but let's talk about it. Thank you guys for all the continued support. Bookings, like, shares, comments, subscribes, recommendations, tips, all that. I really appreciate it. To so book a personal tarot reading with me, my pricing and my contact information will be in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Make sure that you are liking the video and subscribe to the channel. What a keep me, y'all. Now, y'all know how these readings go. You don't have to have Venus and Scorpio to be up in here, but your sun or your Venus could be in a fire sign or one of the fire sign houses, first, fifth, and ninth. Check your chart. I greatly do encourage that. All right, now, I'm going to be honest with you, fire signs. I'm hearing that with this Venus and Scorpio energy, you might be easily irritated, but I feel like it only happens whenever you feel like you're being, I just heard, tried, oppressed. It's like when somebody here is pushing you. When somebody pushing your buttons, it's like, didn't I say no? Or didn't I say back up a 111 uh, confirmations? Yeah, it's like some of y'all might feel like you have to reinforce something. And you just real annoyed by that. It's like, should I really have to tell you to take off your shoes when you come in the house if you walk through mud? It's common sense. I right, just don't be surprised when you find yourself just very um, agitated or annoyed by... Niggas not using... <laughs> Things not using they using not using their brain, not using their mind. But like I said, you kind of feel like somebody here is testing you, pushing your limit. Okay. Let's pull this weekly oracle message cord. Now it is showing up on the bottom of the dead girl. Well, it could be you too. I miss you. Okay. Now fire signs. There is somebody here outside your energy who is missing you during this time. What am I gonna do? Yes, girl. They've been oh, okay. Somebody here been listening to somebody here been listening to love songs about you, fire signs. Or there's certain songs that remind that remind me of you. Take a pick and <laughs> hope the stars in the in the sun align me and you. How does shit go? It's common. Cause I won't. Shoot. That's my shit. But yeah. Some of y'all, there is somebody here, you know, who listens to certain music or songs and they think about you. Let's go ahead and put this card. Spirit guys. How is Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October 23rd until November 15th in the year 2020. Hold up. Yeah, I know what I saw. Be careful about getting taken advantage of during this trans, uh, transit of uh, fire signs. Every scam isn't financial. I saw it while I was shuffling, but I was like, maybe I'm bugging. Maybe I'm tripping. So now, nah, some of y'all might feel like somebody here is trying to take advantage of you. you like, maybe it doesn't come off like that or maybe it doesn't look like that. It's like that. If you have a feeling, it's like that. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October 23rd to November 15th in the year 2022. A knockoff will never compare to an original. So fire signs, are you out here uh, mocking or mimicking someone? Or are you the one being mimicked or mocked? All right, now some of y'all, this could be, you know, in regards to quali the quality of shit. All right, a knockoff will never compare to an original. Don't go cheap in regards to something, fire signs. Put the money in, all right? This uh, I apply this to like a uh, shit with like furniture, uh, clothes, all right? It's like if you want something to last long, be ready to spend some money, all right? <laughs> um... Cash rules everything around me. Cream. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Now, I said this earlier. I feel like you need to be careful about going the cheap route in regards to something. Um, or, oh shit. I know what it is and I want it, but I still want to use an analogy. Okay. Um... You know, just give me the energy of somebody uh, just taking like what they can get. Somebody just putting up with something um, either because they feel like it's better than nothing. Um, 
or I'll just have the next the next best thing. Okay, I do see somebody here doing this in regards to a person. Fire signs that you're doing this in regards to someone. Someone is doing this in regards to you, or this is just somebody outside you doing this shit. All right, it's like somebody here willing to put up with a certain situation because you know either like I said, it's bad and nothing, or it's close. It's it's close enough to what I really want. All right. In regards to a person, some sort of uh, girl. <laughs> uh, whatever. All right. Let's go ahead and pull these cards. See what you got going on, five signs. Two of Pentacles, money going up, down. Okay, money could be up and down during the sign, but this for me is feeling like you're having to put money in different spots during the sign and you're trying to manage that. All right. Yeah. 10% the two of pentacles. I don't feel like a lot of you guys are financially unstable. It's more for me, like I just have uh, multiple financial responsibilities during this time. Some of y'all have multiple streams of income. Um, hi, Sag, by the way, temperance. Uh, some of y'all might um, come across some um, ladybugs or butterflies. Um, this is a sign from your spirit, guys, that they are around. They are looking out for you. Okay, I do see some of y'all definitely out here and have some financial protection. Um, it's it's like this for me is like divine deposits. Like you always get, uh, I just heard, lent some money whenever you need it. Like something always get put in your hands whenever you really need it. All right. Some of y'all could be clearing up some debts, uh, uh, paying some expenses. Like this for me is like I'm hearing like totaling something out. So it's like if there's a balance due on anything, I see you guys paying it during the sign, fire signs. Specifically you, Sag, or you needing to. Spirit guys, how's this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October 23rd until November 15th in the year 2022. Okay, it makes sense. So the tower card came out as your first card, five signs. What the fuck is going on? Be prepared for some unexpected occurrences, um, unexpected changes in weather, um, unexpected uh, traffic conditions, uh, traffic in general, something breaks, you lose something. I mean, Jesus. Temperance is on the bottom of the deck. Um, mm. <clears throat> or some of y'all need to be uh pay attention to whenever you get blocked from doing something something doesn't work out or you see the collapse of something temperance judgment card and the four pinnacles some of y'all it's like um sometimes the rejection is god's protection some of you guys get yanked out of a certain situation a certain situation doesn't um work out for you with the tower card it was going to end in oblivion so y'all need to realize when this is going on around you during this time uh temperance judgment card and the four pentacles you need the spirit is trying to pull you out or you're holding on to it all right Aries and Sag, I'm seeing this definitely applies to y'all. Uh, some of y'all need to make sure that you got some uh, extra money set aside for a rainy day. Because I do see a rainy day coming. Some of y'all, I feel, might just, you know, go out. You need to go buy an umbrella real fast. You ain't got one in your car or something like that, okay? <clears throat> yeah, I just saw the two of wands. Make sure that you have some money set aside for some unexpected future um, occurrences, but Mishti is telling you now, girl. Spirit guys, how's the Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October twenty third until November fifteenth in the year twenty twenty two. Two of Pentacles came out. Oh Lord, with the Five of Pentacles. Now what the fuck is going on? Yeah, some of y'all, there might be an unexpected financial occurrence that kind of has your money a little bit tipsy-turvy during this time, topsy-turvy, however that shit go. All right, but with the temperance card, like I said, this could be you needing to pay off some sort of debt, bill, uh, balance. Needing to have something repaired. Or this for me could you you being involved in a troublesome situation, fire signs. It could relate to a job because money is here. You having a problematic relationship with money. Some of y'all, it's a person, okay? Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Some of y'all, there's a certain situation here with an earth sign or a water sign individual. This person is gonna take you, take you down. And not in a good way, girl. Like <laughs> All right, definitely. I see this with a water sign or earth sign individual. Some of y'all being involved with someone financially, um, it ain't going to work out. This could be like a business relationship, lending money to someone. 
It's like they they ain't gonna be able to pay you back. They ain't gonna be able to, you know, um give you what you need. Aries, I'm seeing this heavy for you. Tower card, three of wands, sun, hi Leo. Oh girl. Yeah. So I'm gonna need to be careful about having relationships with people who I feel like can't oh Lord. It's like either with the Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups, uh, they, they, uh, Lord, they have nothing to offer. I don't want to say, it, girl, but that's what the cards are saying. And you, uh, what they want me to do, like, <laughs> so I gotta be careful about having relationships with people like that who I feel like are, oh Lord, I just heard deficient themselves. So it's like, how could you expect them to give anything to you? And not to say that any relationships are all about, you know, just what can you give me? All right, because that's more of a contract. But with the temperance card showing up already in your reading fire sign, some of y'all believe in reciprocity. So if we're talking about a job, bitch, if I work, I expect to get paid, right? Okay, I hope y'all ain't having no, no situation where you ain't getting paid, girl, or something like that, all right? Or, you know, um, if I if you want me to do a certain job, I expect to have the certain tools and materials, bitch. I expect me to be a plumber and I ain't got no tools. I ain't some shit like that. All right, you dealing with you dealing with something like that. Bitch want me to clean, but ain't no fucking cleaning products. You want me to buy the shit myself? Like, it's some shit like that. But like I said, I do see this in regards to people as well. Specifically, Earth, uh, Earth sign, Capricorn, or a Virgo. And water sign, Cancer and Scorpio was out here. Excuse me. So, you guys, how's this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October 23rd until November 15th in the year 2022. Four of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, four plus two equals six of Pentacles. Some of y'all be prepared to spend some money on some. Like I said, unexpected occurrence. Some of y'all need to get something repaired or um settling a debt or balance, okay? Uh, nine of wands on the bottom of the deck with a strength card. Some of y'all will get through this. This for me is, your, I'm hearing like a growing pain. So it's like, you know, sometimes a tire will go out on your car. Um, <clears throat> You might deal with a flood if you live in an area to where like that's, you know, common or something like that. Somebody gets sick, you got to take them to the doctor. And, you know, girl, we got insurance and shit, but you, there is a copay. All right? You know, it's, it's like some shit in the way. It's like, damn, yo, that shit just had to happen. It's like, yeah, girl, it's going to happen. All right? So, don't be surprised. You got to come out of the pocket for some shit in the way. It's like, yeah, lit. Like, it's responsibilities. Okay? No Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Nine of wands and the strength card. Come on, girl. We grown. We can get through it. All right? Leo says in Aries, everybody out here. All right? Ooh. Divine Feminine, I just heard it, and it's so fucking trash. Divine Feminine, there's some man outside you that really want to fuck you, kid. <laughs> King of Wands, Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. With the Seven of Wands, you might not be giving him no play. Or it's like with the Three of Swords and the Eight of Swords, you're not really being... I don't want to say not being honest with this person, but you're being very vague with them, very blasé. If you do Eight minus Three, that equals Five. And this person is showing up with the Seven of Swords. So it's like, you're not playing their game. It's just, I mean, if you want to be ain't shit... I can be a shit right along with you. I ain't got to do that foul shit that you doing, but I just won't talk to you. I just won't fuck with you. You're going to feel the fact that I don't fuck with you. Um, some of y'all, this is definitely an air sign. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius is out here. It could be a fellow fire sign, okay? It's it's Don Juan, girl. Somebody look good. Because with the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands, they be getting looks, girl. They look good. They They look nice. Okay, <laughs> they look real nice, but they're trash. They showing up with the seven of swords. Uh, men, some y'all need to be careful about some lady playing with your heart. I just heard it. She just using you for penis. Okay, king of wands and the ace of wands out here. Empress three of swords and the eight of swords. It's like, oh girl, either you leading somebody on or somebody leading you on. I'm seeing this heavy with an air sign. A little bit of earth is out here too. Man, either you doing this to somebody or somebody doing this to you. Be careful. Spirit guys, how's this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? Okay, girl. Seven of Pentacles. A lot of money shit going on. Excuse me. This Venus and Scorpio uh, hitting the monies. 
I didn't even realize. So tower is Mars energy, right? Some of y'all might have Mars in a fire sign. But this is the opposite of Venus. This is Mars, okay? So some of y'all... This transit might have Martian effects on you. Not, not the alien, okay? But... um. How do I say this? It's like some of y'all might experience situations to where you're used to, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, doing it right now or, <laughs> Lord have mercy, doing something right now or rushing into doing something or um, it's like reacting instead of responding where with the four of pentacles, you're being urged to like, you know, be patient, um, do what you got to do, all right? Be responsible. Go ahead and take care of some shit and not, you know, with the two of pentacles be in and out, on and all back and forth. It's like needing to be um, clear, I'm here, uh, in how you're operating. Does that make sense? Hold on, let me make it make more sense. It's for me, it's like, if you know you're not supposed to be fucking with somebody, yo, just be honest and just cut it all cold turkey. If you know you don't want to be at a job no more, let's go ahead and make plans to find another one. I ain't telling you to quit today, but go ahead and make plans and start finding another one, yo. If you see it with the tile car, where it's going, or go ahead and put some money aside. That way, when it's time for you to quit, you financially, you good. It's like, I could leave today, bitch, and I'll be all right. Y'all won't, okay? Let's not do that. Fire signs, there's a water, air, earth, if not all of them, person, um, who be watching you. You wouldn't know it, though, with the four swords. It's like, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know what this person be thinking, looking at you. It's like obsession. Okay, some of y'all, there's definitely somebody here outside you who's a little bit obsessed with you, shorty. Ace of Cups and the Devil cards. Like, they want to have you. They want to bed you. I already said that earlier, though. Somebody want to fuck you. Four swords with the Devil card. Like, how can I get in there? Do I need to be friends with you? Three of, <laughs> three of Pentacles, do I need to be nice to you? It's trash, bro. That's so nasty. That's somebody thinking about you like that. It's like, what? Like, it, it's like somebody here trying to think, how can I trick you? Spirit guys. Or what do I have to do to get what I want from you? I ain't even fucking with it, girl. Spirit guys. How's this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October 23rd until November 15th in the year 2022. Mm -mm, too many. The lovers with the eight of pentacles. Uh, some of y'all, yes, are seeing the flaws in a certain situation with a person, a circumstance, a job, a situation to where you, you realize with the lovers card, I'm going to have to make a choice. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is with a job. Like, the job ain't paying you enough. All the bullshit you got to deal with. You see the job going down the tubes and you don't want to be a part of it. So, with the lover's card, you're realizing you're going to have to make a decision. What am I about to do? Hmm. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Fire signs, Leo and Sagittarius, I am seeing in regards to a job. It's like, I hate to say it, baby, but you might got to put up with some shit, chariot card, until you're ready to move on. Uh, Ten of Wands and the Five of Wands, it's like when shit just get, you know, unbearable. I don't want to say wait until you just on your last leg but with the Eight of Pentacles, Strength card, and Nine of Wands. Some of y'all, there's a job that you're at, a certain career path or a career plan that you're a part of during the time. It's like you got goals. All right? And I do see some bullshit that you're having to deal with um, with a certain uh, work situation. But it's like get in and get out. Okay, Get what you need from out there and then move on. Okay, But with the Knight of Swords and the Chariot card, don't be so quick to up and leave something. Okay? Um, you know, cause I don't want to tell you to stay on a job where it's just like, it's trash. I don't want to say that, but I feel like there's a reason as to why you guys are staying, uh, staying with a certain financial situation in regards to, you know what I'm saying? Career or a job, um, that could be problematic is like financially it's not supporting you or it's taking more, um, than what it's giving you. Like how you're managing your money. Some of y'all, this is a job. There's a certain job I feel like it could, it, you, you <laughs> yeah, the chariot card is out here. And the chariot moves on from the tower. It's like, 
eventually you're going to have to move on from this job, this place, this person. Some of y'all, this is a connection. The lover's card is out here. It's like if you asking for signs, you should stop, okay? Because you see that this is not for you long term, okay, in regards to anything. Spirit guys, how's this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October 23rd until November 15th in the year 2022. Oh, girl. So we got the Five of Pentacles coming out. Yeah, it's a lot of money shit coming out. Um, fire signs. A lot of financial shit that could be happening with you, all right? The money got to go here. The money got to go here. I got to save some money. I got to put some money aside for this. I ain't got money for this. I got to choose what I got to put the money towards. It's like, golly, okay? I feel like a lot of financial shit could be stressing you out during this time, okay, fire signs? Um... With the five of pentacles, you might feel like you you don't have enough. Um, some of y'all are tired of um, contributing to a certain love connection or love connections that it, it's like, is this it? It's like some of y'all are tired of compromising. Um, some of y'all are tired of the same type of drama coming with people, the same type of problems. It's like, I just really don't got time for it. I'm just really tired. It's like this Venus and Scorpio trends, it could be showing you your breaking point, fire signs. How to find feminine. Yeah, girl, you all in your head, all in your head, okay? <laughs> Empress with the eight of swords, you all in your head, girl. But with the Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Star card, some of y'all know that with the Tower card, you want to move on to a new beginning because that's what happens with the Tower. Things need to be dismantled. That way something new can be, you know, brought up, all right? It's like I'm hearing there's a cycle that needs to end, fire signs. Spirit, guys, how is this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs October 23rd to November 15th in the year 2022? Three of Pentacles. Is this whole reading about to be Pentacles, girl? Tower card, Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Um, yes, yeah, some of you guys could be trying to uh, recover from a certain financial loss. Temperance, uh, Two of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this for me is like you just get new brakes put on the car. Now you gotta go uh, buy a patio set. Then you gotta buy a crib for your baby. Now you got to, you know, pay for fucking uh, tennis lessons for your son, okay? It's like expense at the expense at the expense. <laughs> it's like, damn, like, when does it end, bitch, okay? Now, some of y'all are in this uh, energy and realizing, like, okay, like, maybe do I need to give up something? Do I need to go after another bag? Okay, but with the tile card coming out, I feel like this could be a relationship with money. How you managing your money during the time? What your money is going towards? Okay, it might be time for you to sit down and look at your expenses, fire signs. Spirit, guys, how's this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October 23rd until November 15th in the year 2022. And here we fucking go with the moon card, all right? Here go that mimicry shit that I was talking about at the beginning of the reading. Uh, two of Pentacles, the Lovers card, and the Moon card. Some of you guys do have some people. Oh, girl. Acting like you. I'm sick of it. And some of y'all know that, you know, e even if you're not being honest about it or you're not saying anything, some of y'all know you're going to have to make a decision to declare no backs on a certain situation to get out of something. Um, It could be a job. Um, you could be keeping this low key. It's like seven of pentacles. It's coming. It's for me to be in the job and be like, y'all know I'm going to quit in three months. Y'all don't know. I'm not saying nothing. Okay. Some of y'all like that. Like, you know, you're going to quit a job and you're not saying nothing to nobody. Not until the day you quit. Your last day. All right. Some of y'all feel this way about a connection. Okay. Uh, knowing that. On your last leg, okay. Nine of swords, death card, and the page of cups. I do see some people here fearful about a certain situation not working out with someone. Uh, someone here knows that someone wants to leave them, it gives them stress. Like, girl, you better beat into the punch. <laughs> I see this going on with a water sign, or air, uh, water, earth, and air individual. 
some of y'all there's somebody here that still wishes that they that they had access to you but i hear they know that they burnt that bridge with you like with the three of pentacles coming out beside the moon card this person could have had you in a third party wasn't telling you about everything and everybody they was involved with while they was dealing with you it don't matter before then you know it was why you why you was dealing with them all right like they know they burnt that bridge with you spirit guys knight of wands with the food card some of y'all need to be careful about um, making impulsive decisions during this transit. Like you moving too fast. You see how the card is jumped out like that. Four of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. It's like with the full card on the bottom of the day, you might impulsively, recklessly um, make a certain purchase. Spend your money on something. Spend your money too fast. Um, get involved with a certain situation. Be a part of a certain situation. To where with the Four of Pentacles, nah. Okay, what I say at the beginning of the reading, sometimes God's rejection is the protection. Be aware of when that is happening for you. Some of y'all could have Mars in a fire sign. Some of y'all could have moon in a fire sign. Yeah, um, uh, fire sign. You need to be careful about somebody here wanting to deal with you, wanting to have access with you. But with the three of pentacles and the moon card, they're not telling you all the intricacies of another situation that's going on while they involved with you. All right. It's like this person is going to be taken from you. It's going to be real un real uneven. Or fire signs. You need to be careful about doing this to someone. Yes. Uh, pay attention to when the universe tells you to move. Fire signs, fool card, will of fortune, hermit, and the chariot card. This for me is paying attention to the signs, trusting spirit, you know, being like, you know what, God? I don't know what I'm doing. Take the wheel. All right. Like, what, what, which woman do? <laughs> my way ain't working because some of y'all are realizing that your way ain't working so you know what i'm saying god is take the wheel girl i'm gonna go ahead and hop in the passenger seat wake me up when we get there <laughs> five signs that was your venus and scorpio transit reading october 23rd until november 15th that's the name of the reading you've reached your breaking point like the video leave a comment telling me it just resonated with you in any way subscribe to the channel remember moon and mars and fire as well all right Pricing and contact information is in the description box down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to tell you later. Mm -hmm. Bye.